According to Dr. Zakhar Naik, Jesus talked about Muhammad in the book of John, chapter 14, verse 16. It further mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 16. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says, I will pray to my Father to send you another comforter who will abide with you forever. Let's go ahead and read the verse, John 14, 16. Jesus says, I will ask the Father, and he will give you another helper, also translated as comforter, that he may be with you forever. So, what does this verse mean, Dr. Nike? That means Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, will not abide with the Christian forever. This new comforter, this new prophet who will come, will abide with you forever. The word that they translate to comforter in the Greek and Aramaic, they say it is parakletos. Parakletos actually means an advocate or friend. But irrespective of whether they translate as comforter or advocate or friend, all of these, mashallah, befect perfectly Prophet Muhammad Now, if you've read John 14, I'm sure you're thinking about all of the different ways that the text refutes what Nike is saying. But I'm a generous man, so I'm going to agree with him for the sake of argument. I'm going to pretend that Jesus was actually talking about Muhammad in John 14:16. If we grant, for the sake of argument, that Jesus is talking about Muhammad in this passage, what can we learn about Jesus? Well, Nike doesn't just quote what Jesus says about the Comforter in John 14, 16. He also quotes what Jesus says in John 16, 7. What does Jesus say there, Dr. Nike? It's further mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 7. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the comforter shall not come. For if I depart, shall I send him. What did Jesus say? It is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, the comforter shall not come. For if I depart, shall I send him. Who sends the comforter, according to Jesus? For if I depart, shall I send him. Shall I send him. Shall I send him. Now, according to Jesus and according to Zakhar Naik, because he quoted the verse as an authoritative prophecy, who sends the Comforter? I'll remind you that Jesus says, But I tell you the truth, it is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the Helper will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. Who sends the Comforter? Jesus does. So, Jesus sends the Comforter. The Comforter is sent by Jesus. Allah sends Muhammad. Muhammad is sent by Allah. If the Comforter is Muhammad, as Zakhar Naik claims, who does this make Jesus? Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Dr. Naik, for admitting that Jesus is your God, the God of Muhammad, and the God of all Muslims. Now that you and all your followers have committed shirk, according to Islam, all of you need to seek forgiveness. I suggest that you seek forgiveness from the true God of Muhammad, the Lord Jesus Christ, by turning away from Islam and believing the gospel.